Let's show how to mask using Photo Effects Ultra. Masking lets you selectively paint the filter onto your image layer, therefore giving you more control in editing your image. To begin, let's enhance the overall drama of this photograph. For this image, I wanted to darken the skies. This is going to give the scene a bit more of a thunderstorm look. To achieve this look, I'm going to choose the Bleach Bypass filter from the Film Lab category. Something around Bleach Bypass 6 should work. As you can see, after you make your selection with the Bleach Bypass filter, the majority of the image becomes very dark and dramatic. What I would like to do is to remove the dark layer from the lower portion of the image, but overall keep the dramatic look in the sky. To achieve the desired look, a mask must be created. To begin with your mask, select the paintbrush at the top of the toolbar. Once selected, you will be taken to the masking area of Photo Effects Ultra. Now you have the option to either paint your filter onto your image, or you have the option to erase the filter using the eraser tool. For this image, I want to paint the bleach bypass filter only on certain areas of the image. Now since the filter is already applied, we need to invert the mask showing us the original image. To invert the mask, select the black-white icon at the top of the toolbar. The next step to paint the mask on is to select the paintbrush at the top of the toolbar. Now this gives us the ability to paint the filter onto our image. For this shot, I think making the clouds a little more intimidating will add some drama to the image. Now if I feel the strength of the filter is too strong, I could decrease the size, spread, and opacity of the filter by using the parameter slider at the bottom of the image. Once your filter is applied to the desired location, you can process the filter by clicking the Done button at the top of the toolbar. This will take you back into the main interface of Photo Effects Ultra. As always, once you complete your edit, you could always save the image or export to social media.